He's now the pastor of the church, but he's been through some battles and is actually very weak himself. Next, he's the son-in-law of Brother uh, Swami. Next to him is Brother Manuel, and Brother Manuel is also a brother-in-law of Brother Sw- or son-in-law of Brother Swami, and uh, married to one of his other daughters. He had three daughters, and and so uh, these two brothers are kind of leading the church, and the other brothers you see there are the deacons that are in the church, and so we had a, a wonderful time with them. Coming to the service, uh, there was a, a man that introduced himself to me. This is Brother Alex. He came from six hours away just for that one service on Saturday. And he said, the reason that I came, Brother Tim, is I need to let you know, I wanted to tell you personally, he says, that we must have the family altar book in the Tamil language. And that was the burden of his heart. He, he had experienced the family altar book. And I'll just, I just thought to bring it here. This is the family altar book if you've never seen it. It's a devotional book that uh, contains the message and the scripture in a daily devotional format. Now, the reason I I say that is uh, I've been discovering the more I travel how hugely popular this is. Tens upon tens of thousands of these have gone around the world. And uh, (laughs) it's always interesting to me. Where's Brother Matthew Wilson? He's up there. I remember talking to Brother Matthew, was a trustee when we were putting these out, trustee in the church in Grand Prairie, and I was talking to the trustees, I says, how many should we print? Should we even print 500? I, I don't know if they'll even be accepted, you know. But you know why they're so popular? It's because there's none of Tim Dodd's thoughts in here. It's all just the message in the scripture. And that's what the people are in love with is the message in the scripture. That's why people that leave the message and think, oh, I'm going to have some great big influence, they find out they have no influence. Because if people aren't in love with them, they're in love with the message. It doesn't make no difference. You know, it's, it's not you or me that people love. It's the word in us that people love. So it became a very popular thing. And, but while I was there, I got this. And this is the first month of the family altar book in the Tamil language. And so they've actually begun the translation work in the Tamil. I'm a little bit loose in keeping track of family altar books because um, I don't know why. I just don't consider it to be my personal project. But uh, I, the, tra- the family altar book has been translated into many, many languages in the world. I was looking at home. I have copies of different ones. And... Uh, and so now they have it in the Tamil language, and I guess I'm sharing that. I know there's in, people in India that are looking in right now and uh, watching the service as we speak. So, so that is available, and they, they hope to finish the entire family altar book soon and be able to print it there in the Tamil language. So his desire was already being fulfilled. And so God bless Brother Alex, who had that great desire. I know he wasn't part of the translation team, but they are already translating it. So God bless them for that. So there's lots of things that we're discovering as we're in India. Secondly, we stopped in on a, a place. Uh, this is a brother by the name of, and I always mispronounce his name. I'm going to say Jiva Jam is his name. And I'm going to be corrected because I'm sure that's not quite it. But he, they have bought the church in, in uh, Brother Swami's former church, or the church that Brother Swami was formerly the pastor of, has bought this printing press, and this brother is running it, who has a great burden for outreach, and and they say he himself has baptized thousands of people. And his desire is to get the message into the hands of the people. And so this little church, you'll see it in a moment here, helps support this brother and his printing work. A lot of it is through the, the, the pensions of some of the older people. They're not a very rich church, but they're taking what little money they have and they're, they're, they're running this offset printer to print books. And he prints like 3,000 at a time and, and just takes them uh, on his motorcycle and, and travels around the areas that he evangelizes in and gets the message out, gives it out free of charge. And I say, God bless them. You know, they're putting, uh, they're putting life-changing Uh, word into the hands of the local people in their language. 
And so they're printing in the Tamil language. And, and this is exactly what we want to happen in India. We're not interested in a central operation. But rather that churches here and churches there pick up the burden. Some will translate, some will print, some will do what they can do. And together as a body of Jesus Christ, led by the Holy Spirit, united by the Spirit of God, can do the work that's necessary in these last days. Amen. So we had a uh, a wonderful time with them. And we had the the Saturday meeting here at the little church. Uh, when I say little church, uh, after the pastor passed away, a number of people left and some people formed another church and different things happened. You know, sometimes it's hard to understand why things happen. And 